Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plexus uh, 2D. This is tutorial number 8 and in this uh, example we are going to simulate a reinforced concrete cantilever retaining wall using Plexus uh, 2D. Uh, this is going to be our example. We, we will uh, simulate this uh, example in plexus uh, 2d we have a sloped ground so we will uh, construct a cantilever retaining wall which is uh, seven meters high and uh, after that we will have a back filling behind the retaining wall and uh, some back filling uh, in the front of the retaining wall so uh, the purpose of uh, this uh, lesson is to uh, estimate or use approximate dimensions for uh, various uh, parts of uh, cantilever retaining wall for initial uh, stability checks and in this example we will uh, model a sloped cantilever retaining wall uh, in uh, this side and also in uh, this example we will uh, talk about the long term modulus of elasticity for concrete as we know uh, over the time due to shrinkage and uh, creep behavior the uh, elasticity of uh, the concrete uh, is uh, reduced over time uh, also we will uh, estimate the lateral earth pressure behind the retaining wall also we will uh, uh, see how can we uh, get uh, the results of vertical uh, stresses be, uh, under the foundation of uh, the retaining wall. So uh, this is, uh, as you can see in this figure, this is uh, an approximate dimensions uh, when uh, we start design a cantilever retaining wall. We can use uh, these uh, approximate dimensions for dimensioning our cantilever retaining wall for initial uh, stability check so we can use uh, these approximate dimensions and after that we will uh, analyze the uh, problem in plexus 2d if we uh, find the factor of safety is more than 1.5 or uh, 2 it is okay and if it is less than 1.5 we can uh, use a uh, different dimensions or increase the dimensions of the retaining wall so you can see these uh, figures in principal principles of foundation engineering by Praja Das. so in uh, previous examples we talked about how, ca how can we estimate the modulus of elasticity for from uh, these equations offered by ICI code and uh, we have this equation this number times uh, square root of uh, fc dash fc dash which is a compressive uh, strength of concrete but this is for short term modulus of elasticity so as i mentioned before over time due to creep and shrinkage the elasticity of concrete is uh, reduced and this is leading to increased deformation under a uh, sustained loads and we can estimate the long term elasticity for uh, the concrete from uh, this equation which is approximately equal 0 0.35 to 0 0.5 times the elasticity found from uh, these equations so as you can see in here we have uh, uh, drawn our uh, soil geometry soil uh, ground in uh, this example so after uh, that we have to uh, define the material for uh, this ground 